My name is Claire Kamanzi and I'm the CEO of the Rwanda Development Board, the organization in charge of promoting private sector and tourism in the country. Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight, Claire, and thank you for hosting us in Rwanda as well. And a massive, massive congratulations because Rwanda has taken the top prize tonight. Rwanda has been voted Africa's leading destination, so really that is quite some accolade. And I was wondering what this means to you and indeed the entire team at the Rwanda Development Board. This award confirms everything that we've been doing to, to, to make travel in Rwanda very, very special. It confirms the investments the government has made. It confirms the confidence the private sector have put in our country. It confirms the, the work the communities around the national parks, the communities that are supporting tourists. It summarizes everything that we've been doing to make Rwanda a very attractive travel destination. And so we're very proud to win this award. And this award gives us even new motivation to aim for higher. Fantastic to hear. And so you think you'll be able to use this award then to market Rwanda further to the world? Yes, uh, we, we, we've been telling the world what Rwanda is, a new promising destination. We are, among, we are actually ranked the safest country in Africa in terms of our travel. We are ranked the seventh most efficient government in the world. We are ranked the second, best, the second easiest place to do business. And so this award only gives us another indicator to tell the world who we truly are. So thank you. Fantastic news. And lastly, we've discussed what you've achieved so far, but any plans or aims for the future for Rwanda Development Board that you could share with me tonight? So today, uh, the main tourist attractions, other than conference tourism, are our national parks. We have, of course, the world famous. The world famous gorillas. We have the big five in Akajira National Park. We have the natural forests in Nyungwe. So those are the main attractions, but the future has a lot more to offer. We have the Kivu Belt, which is one of the most beautiful lakeside sceneries you can ever see. And we want to develop that into tourist infrastructure. We want to develop the heritage corridor that we have. Rwanda has a very rich history that uh, comes from our cultural heritage. We're going to develop that even more. So when tourists come, it's beyond the national park. So watch out for this space. We certainly will watch this space. Well, I'll let you get back to the celebrations, but congratulations once again, and we wish Rwanda every continued success. Thank you very much. Very proud to be part of the winners tonight. Thank you.